In this video, I'll be comparing Anyden versus Mig versus Zapier and going over what exactly these tools do, who they are for, and ultimately, which one I would pick. So while they all aim to connect your apps and automate workflows, they do it in very different ways, catering to different skill sets and use cases. So in this video, I'll break them down category by category. So first, let's go over the core philosophies of simplicity versus visual, power versus open source, etc. So Zapier is the pioneer of no-code automation. It's built for ultimate simplicity and ease of use, allowing anyone, regardless of technical skill, to quickly connect apps and automate tasks. Now, Make is often seen as a step up in power and flexibility from Zapier. It uses a highly visual canvas-based interface where you build workflows like a flowchart. This allows for more complex logic, branching, and data manipulation. And then we have N8N, short for Node-Based Automation, and it stands out as an open-source developer-friendly automation platform. It offers incredible flexibility and control, including the ability to run it on your own servers. It's for those who want deep customization and ownership, it's for those who want deep customization and ownership. So now I'll go over ease of use and the learning curve. So as I said, Zapier is famously beginner friendly. You can often set up a Zap in minutes. The interface is intuitive, guiding you through triggers and actions with minimal thoughts. Its linear design is great for simple, if this, then that automations. Make has an intermediate learning curve. Its visual editor is powerful, letting you see the entire workflow as a diagram, which is great for understanding data flow. However, mastering concepts like routers, filters, and aggregators takes a bit more time than with Zapier. Then N8N has the steepest learning curve. So while it also has a visual builder, its node-based approach and the ability to write custom JavaScript or Python code means it's best suited for users with some technical background. It offers immense power once you have mastered it, but it's not built for non-technical users. So now how many apps can they connect and how well can they do it? Zapier boasts the largest library of pre-built integrations. With thousands of apps supported, it's the go-to if you need to connect popular SaaS applications quickly and easily. As you can see, they currently have 8,416 apps, also including AI apps such as ChatGPT. Then Make offers a very robust and deep set of integrations, often providing more granular control and access to an app's features than Zapier. Its modules allow for more precise data manipulation with workflows, and as you can see, it currently actually has over 2,000 pre-built apps. Then N8N has a smaller number of native integrations, a little over 1,000, compared to the others. However, its open source nature and powerful HTTP request and code nodes mean you can connect virtually any API or web service, giving it unmatched customizability for unique or proprietary systems. Then next, a critical differentiator for long-term use is the cost. So Zapier charges per task where each action within a Zap counts as one task. This can become expensive very quickly if you have many high volume workflows or Zaps with a lot of steps. They do offer a free plan with a limited amount of Zaps. You can see 100 tasks per month. Then make charges per operation where each module section in a scenario counts as an operation. This is generally more cost effective than Zapier for complex multi-step workflows, as fewer individual actions might count as operations. They also have a free tier with 1000 operations per month. N8N has a unique model. Its open source version is free if you self-host it meaning you only pay for your server costs. This provides unlimited executions and total data control. Their cloud plans charge per workflow execution, regardless of how many steps are within that workflow, which can be very cost effective for highly complex multi-step automations. So then where does your data actually go and how are they hosted? Zapier is a fully cloud-based SaaS platform, 
which means all your workflows and data are hosted on their servers. It's convenient, but means you relinquish some control over your data. Make is also fully cloud-based with no self-hosting option. Similar to Zapier, your data resides on their managed infrastructure. Then N8N is unique in offering a self-hosting option. You can install and run N8N on your own servers, giving you complete control over your data and infrastructure. This is ideal for businesses with strict data privacy, security, or compliance requirements like GDPR. They also offer a managed cloud service if you prefer convenience. So now I'll go over some advanced capabilities such as AI, custom code, and error handling. Zapier offers basic AI integrations with tools like ChatGPT, but its capabilities for deep AI-driven workflows are generally less advanced. Custom logic often requires higher tier plans or workarounds, and error handling is more basic. Make provides robust conditional logic, data transformation tools, and multi-path workflows. It supports AI integrations, though perhaps not with the same depth as N8N. Its visual error handling is quite strong, allowing for more defined fallback actions. And finally, N8N excels in advanced customization. You can embed custom JavaScript or Python code directly into your workflows, making it incredibly powerful for unique requirements. It also boasts strong AI native features with numerous nodes for integrating with AI models and building sophisticated AI agents. It also offers granular control over error handling and debugging. So which one should you choose? First, I would choose Zapier if you are a non-technical user a small business or a freelancer who needs to quickly and easily automate simple linear tasks by connecting popular SaaS apps. Also, if you prioritize ease of use and a fast integration library over deep customization or cost efficiency at scale, then I would go with Zapier. Next, I would go with Make if you are a team or a small to medium sized business that needs to build more complex multi-step workflows with conditional logic and advanced data manipulation. Also, if you appreciate a powerful visual editor at a more competitive pricing model than Zapier, and you don't mind a slightly steeper learning curve, then I would also go with Make. Finally, I'd go with N8N if you are a developer, have a technical team, or prioritize complete control over your data and infrastructure. I would also go with N8N if you need extreme flexibility, the ability to write custom code, or to build highly complex AI-driven workflows that might be too expensive or impossible on other platforms. So the best platform truly depends on your team's technical skill level, the complexity of your automation needs, and your budget for ongoing operations and data control. But overall, if you're looking to build an AI agent, which many people are looking to do, I would personally go with N8N. So that concludes this comparison of N8N versus Make versus Zapier. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.